El Parque del Rio is a landscape intervention by Surrounding Studio that follows the Santa Fe River along Alameda between St. Francis and Palace. This project is a prime example of how the built environment can emerge from historical precedent to allow landscape and climate to dictate how and where we build. El Parque del Rio serves many roles for downtown Santa Fe. As both a green belt through the city for recreation and leisure and a green infrastructure solution to stormwater management, the design serves the city's natural environment and the people who occupy it. While the original request for design proposals in 2009 sought minor repairs to the river corridor infrastructure, Surrounding Studio approached the design challenge holistically and developed an entire master plan for the two-mile stretch. Major concerns that Surroundings prioritized were the river erosion and pollution caused by the gray infrastructure stormwater system in place, as well as improved circulation and ADA accessibility. Additionally, the design intended to reveal the history of the stretch of river, including the historic stone walls and seating built by the CCC in the 1930s through subtle interpretive signage. After three public meetings to gather community insight, Surroundings honed in on four major project sites. The skate park design, a notable component, was added later to the design and budget scope. Although it likely goes unnoticed by the majority of the park's occupants, a primary purpose of El Parque del Rio's design is green infrastructure stormwater management methods that benefit the health of the river corridor and the plant life that depend on it. As opposed to gray infrastructure, which is entirely man-made, green infrastructure reacts to a site-specific environmental condition and works with exi existing natural solutions. In 2018, the City of Santa Fe's Stormwater Management Strategic Plan prioritized the implementation of green infrastructure for the longevity of the city's built future. Water has played a central role in New Mexico's built environment as long as humans have occupied the land. Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century sought out water in the arid climate and built irrigation ditches to sustain their expanding empire. Today, these ditches, called the sequias, continue to support residents and agriculture across the state. One of surrounding studios' green infrastructure solutions, modeled after these historic sequias, allows stormwater to run in a channel parallel to the river and be filtered through volcanic rock to reduce sediment before being gradually deposited into the river. By inserting solutions such as these upstream from existing stormwater inlets and outfalls, the design intervention reduces incising of the river channel and lowering of the water table, which ultimately serves the health of the neighboring cottonwood trees. In addition to the health of the river and surrounding ecosystems, the park's design also prioritizes residents and visitors of Santa Fe. By adding a paved sidewalk to the entire two-mile stretch between St. Francis and Palace, close proximity to the river is now an ADA-accessible experience. El Parque del Rio also extends the bikeability of the riverfront by connecting to the city's river trail. Additional design solutions by surroundings include a Ramada shade structure at De Vargas Park and the preservation of the historic stone picnic tables, dams, and walls. For me personally, the ultimate sign of good design is that it goes unnoticed. El Parque del Rio both improves my own experience in the urban setting of downtown Santa Fe, while ultimately serving the health of our city's natural environment. I hope when considering future design proposals for Santa Fe that the city continues to prioritize green infrastructure solutions.